The first 20 videos of our summer series have been pertinent to all homeowners regardless of whether they live locally, live out of town, live out of state or live out of the country. The next five videos in the summer series are geared towards the educational needs of international homeowners. They will cover selling from abroad, the Foreign Investment in Real Property Tax Act or FERPTA, the importance of exchange rates, expatriation of funds and inter-country differences in both the selling process and terminology. In this video of our multi-video seller series, we shall look at selling a property from abroad and how in the right, knowledgeable and capable hands, selling from abroad does not need to be as daunting as it may first appear. We have mentioned dealing with rental bookings and long-term tenants in a previous video, but I wanted to mention it again in this video as it can be even more concerning for a homeowner when that owner lives abroad. Here are six factors to consider when selling from abroad. Number one, knowledge is power. First and foremost, we strongly believe that knowledge is power and that armed with all the necessary information, selling a home in the US from another country can be as easy as selling a home in one's own homeland. This sentiment is precisely what motivated us to embark on the production of this very detailed and informative video series. If a homeowner has the time, we like to commence our relationship with a lengthy conversation on the phone or on a visual call should that be preferred by the homeowner. That first no obligation free call varies from one to two hours and sometimes even longer depending on the availability of the homeowner and the number of questions that the homeowner has for us during the call. One homeowner emailed us after a call that lasted two and a half hours saying, I can't tell you how happy both my wife and myself have been since our conversation. You have already done more than anyone has managed before and completely put our minds at rest that we are in good hands. Number two, signing documents from abroad. One of the biggest concerns of a homeowner selling from abroad is whether it will be necessary to come over to the US at any time during the selling process. Frequently, the homeowner, due to ill health or the cost of health insurance for people of advanced years, is unable to make another trip to the home. The majority of our sellers never set foot in the US unless they specifically wish to visit the home one more time to collect their belongings and or to say goodbye to a home where they have made so many beautiful memories. All the necessary documents for a sale may be signed electronically at the seller's convenience on a computer, tablet or phone, except for the final closing documents, which can still be signed electronically, but must be signed in the presence of a remote online notary on a visual call. Number three, preparing a home for sale from a distance. So what if the home requires some refurbishment, minor repairs or attention to cosmetic items you may well ask? Will a homeowner have to come over to prepare the home for sale? We have helped countless homeowners with the preparation process. We are able to obtain a detailed estimate from a handyman for work that we suggest should be completed. We are able to obtain a carpet or other flooring estimate from a hardware store. We are also able to have a roofer look at potential roof issues or a pool technician come out to have a pool put back in working order. We can even have a crew provide an estimate for exterior work that will give the home more curb appeal. All of this is just part of the service we offer and is included in the listing commission. Number four, dealing with a management company. Most of our absentee sellers employ the services of a management agent to take care of the home on a daily basis and this is even more likely to be the case for international homeowners. These homeowners are frequently concerned that the management agent will feel their feathers ruffled, especially if they are also doing real estate as a side job. We have mentioned in a previous video that it is best to leave the management company to do what they do best, which is managing the home, and leave performing real estate duties 
to a real estate professional who is working full-time in real estate and is more adept and expert at pricing, negotiating and overcoming any obstacles in the way of a successful sale. Number five, dealing with guest bookings. Another concern for homeowners who are renting out their home and as a vacation home is what will happen to the existing bookings that have already been arranged for the home. These bookings are able to continue whilst ever the homeowner is still the homeowner and we shall work around the booking dates with regards to the initial photography of the home, subsequent viewings of the home once it has been placed on the market and visits by the inspector and appraiser once the home is under contract. We recognize that it is important for a homeowner to still be able to generate rental income to help pay the mortgage and other day-to-day expenses of owning a home. At closing, the buyer will have the option of staying with the seller's management agent and inheriting all the future bookings or selecting another management agent to manage the home or perhaps even manage the home him or herself post-closing. The latter two options would normally result in forfeiting the future bookings as usually these bookings belong to the management agent. Should the bookings have to convey with the home, the buyer will agree in writing during the contract negotiation process that the buyer will maintain current management company post-closing. Number six, dealing with a long-term tenant. We are also able to work around a long-term tenant should there be a long-term lease on the property at the time of listing. In the case of a long-term tenant, the buyer will have to honour the remainder of the lease as that is the law unless the tenant has been defaulting on the monthly rent payments. Inheriting either short-term rental bookings or a long-term tenant is usually good news for an investor buyer as it provides an immediate cash flow from the property right after closing. In a situation where the buyer may wish to inhabit the home as a permanent residence post-closing, the seller may be able to encourage the tenant to terminate the lease early by offering some kind of financial compensation to the tenant. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the rest of the videos in our seller series.